Well, after a week of sneak dissing each other, Young Miami and JT finally decided to call each other out. And I just feel like Boosie's daughter, like, I told y'all ninjas, I told y'all ninjas. But people in the comment section was like, no, JT is talking about Glorilla. And I was like, no, JT posted these tweets before she even got into it with Glorilla. And Young Miami captions was basically responding to JT. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into all of this that happened on Twitter today. So the first thing I seen Young Miami tweet was, y'all don't be knowing what go on behind closed doors, but I always got my name in y'all mouth with these F A narratives that I let y'all run with and never say ish. Leave me the F alone. Then the next thing I see is a B been sneak dissing me for weeks and I ain't say ish. What a B mad at me for? I ain't jealous of a soul. I'm always like go B go. I clap for everybody. I show love to everybody. It ain't a B I haven't shown love to. So Young Miami also said, LOL, here we go. Okay. For you to come on here and try to play victim is crazy. Jatavia, you've been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days. I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me, and I still wrapped your ish with my chest and show love. So what's the real problem here? She then says you let the internet put in your head that I'm jealous of you when you know I'm the one that always pushed us to have resentment towards to, towards to and that's okay. She also says a bee trying to kick me while I'm down and play into these narratives is dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. So JT responded said, which songs was about you with some laughing emojis or crying, which everyone is supposed to be. Young Miami responded and said, no bars and sideways because JT said, which songs was about you. And then someone responded and said, girl, if it was a diss, why you been on your story making videos and singing both songs? You trying to flip this around and make JT look bad publicly and I'm clocking you. And Young Miami responded and said, B because I'm not a hater. And then Young Miami said, a B trying to kick me while I'm down and play into these narratives is dangerous when I've been nothing but a good friend to you. JT responded and said, you looking for a way out of your situation? Who was the first person you called when it all started? You're a sad effing case. Young Miami responded and said, not you. Young Miami then tweets and says, you weird, but I always want to act like I'm a weirdo. You always mad, it's always a problem, and all I try to do is push you. Tell you, you the ish, you can rap, you can model, etc. You always mad, you doing your ish as you would, congratulations, but somehow you still who you still mad at. So Khalil, who is a Nicki Minaj stand page, he responded to Young Miami said, you so late. She responded with some question marks, and then he said the clueless role is getting tired very and then saucy santana joined in and said stay in your tory lanes a b word so sleaze mirage slash khalil said oh baby them rca checks slow down and you have enough time to come engage in on something on twitter because when them allegations was flying around about little miss pissy we ain't see nothing Saucy Santana responded to Khalil and said, My agents call me every other day with an inquiry or a check for the doll. How much does Stan Twitter pay? There will be a TV show to address things you are so heavily invested and interested in. Tune in. So Young Miami chimed in and said, And I better not be mentioned since I'm not in the episode. Nothing should be addressed without me. Who are you? You didn't give yourself a position of power. You are not my power of attorney. Stitch her behind down. Saucy Santana responded and said, Sheez, I thought he was talking about puffing those allegations just like the rest of the world. What the F are you talking about? JT responded to Saucy and said, Read re what I said in case you didn't comprehend the first time. Now, these tweets are mainly JT tweets towards Young Miami and her responses to Young Miami. So JT said, what happens in the dark always come to the light. She responded to Young Miami saying that, you know, JT was steady dissing her for the last couple of weeks. JT said, okay, Miss Mamas, this your last day playing dumb. Then JT also said, it'll be too much for me to tweet. I would like a sit down, Carisha, please. And this time, leave Santana home. JT also says, I know I come off crazy, but never in my life did no whack ish to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged. When people show me love, she goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can sit and talk about it. So JT responded to Young Miami saying she felt like no bars and sideways was a diss to her. And JT basically said, if you felt like this, why didn't you come and speak to me about it? And she felt like she was just being an attention seeker as usual. Anyway, Saucy Santana responded to JT and said, JT, you retweeted a Nicki Minaj stan asking why we didn't speak on Miss Pissy allegations, which refers to Diddy, not you. 
Everybody looking for answers and responses to that situation, which will be televised. You unblock me to insert yourself. I'm still confused. And then he also says, FYI, I was initially asked to be a co-host of Carisha Please. I declined and was a guest host to people I was genuine friends with, i.e. Lotto, JT, Suki, got scrapped. I don't need to be involved. I got my own motion. He then says, I'm the problem. I'm the villain. So like I said, Young Miami and JT have been going through their own situation behind closed doors, but we've already known this by the way they've been acting. But anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.